Oh, Mr. Carl Pilkington. Pilkington. Carl Hi, Pilkington. Everybody. Yes, hello. So, <clears throat> all right. I, so, I love Carl. Yes. I, so he's, he, he's definitely grown on me. He's in Brazil now. Yes, nice, nice. Yeah, so. How are you feeling that. there? Good. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> okay. My jokes are bad and my eyes are slanted. <laughs> he's not Asian. <laughs> and I'm not Asian. You can figure out the rest. All right, here we go. Yes, I have not smoked. Okay, anyways. All right, let's watch Carl. Carl, sending you to see Christ the Redeemer. Magnificent religious symbol that towers down over Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. What's your first thoughts of it? Look how big that statue is. I just think of the people who live in Rio, right? They've got that there. Every day when they leave the house, they see it. Yeah. Oh, it's there again. <laughs> Sick of seeing it. It's like a pylon to them, that. <laughs> you get sick of it. Um, it's a good place to meet, you know, it's, you, you know, you can see it from everywhere. Yeah, I don't think it was built as a rendezvous point, to be no. fair. I think it's also something to do with the spirituality of the country. But it's not just that that you'll be seeing. You'll be experiencing Brazil as well, a magnificent country. You know the carnival's going to be on when you're there. Oh, gay, okay, isn't he? Is, does that... Is, is, do, you, do you feel like you have to be part of that to enjoy it? Mm. Or do you feel left out if you're I'm not stunned. one of them? Well, I don't, I, he's so confused because I don't think Rio Carnival is known specifically for its gay fans. I hate there, are a, there are a lot of men with tans and little posing pouches. Listen, if you want to see a guy in his speedos and nothing else, this is the place to go, Carl, if that's what... Mm, that's what I mean. I'm not really into that. Can we make a note to make sure that we can do we, get him can in you, a song Will you please at Beach? least get in the spirit? No, I'm not, I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't do, normally do on holiday. No, but you're... Oh, 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 oh. When you're on the beach, you're in trunks, aren't you? No, I don't. I just wear shorts. So, how short? How short? What's the shortest shorts you'd be willing to wear? Would you wear hot pants? No, there's no need for that. There's no need. No need no. to wear trunks like that. No, I'm not doing anything for the cameras. I'm not Red braces? Up. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go and look at this. That's, what, that's all I'm doing. I don't need to go to the gay parade. There's no need. That's it's not, not a gay wonder. parade. It's not a gay parade. <laughs> right, yeah. enjoy it. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Yeah. Obviously a tourism area. Yeah. This is the hottest I've ever experienced this. Absolutely. Oh, he's not so See that? Wow. It's ringing. Is that the Jesus thing up there, Chris? Just to your right on that hill? Yeah, that's the Jesus thing. <laughs> it's not as big as I thought it would be. What do you think of this? This is uh, Copacabana Beach. Oh! It's alright, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I know I didn't come for that. I meant to be looking at the, the Jesus thing. Very mellow. This makes the Jesus thing better, doesn't it? You know, that's like a nice little added extra. You're on the beach, have a look up. There it is. What? That thing that's in the films. Oh, aye. Right. Going swimming again. <laughs> Still hot, though, isn't it? I mean, is it normal to have sweaty ears? I've never had a sweaty ear in my life. I mean, they're not, they're not even doing anything in the rock. <laughs> Quality film. I've just got to get to the place that Steve has sorted out for me to stay at. I don't know anything about it other than um, they said that it was a good place to meet people. I don't know what that means. Alright. Hi. I'm Welcome Carl. to Pirates of Ipanema. So this is your gaff, is it? Yeah. Let's go, man. He's wearing a coat. This is a kitchen, and when you cook anything, you try to keep clean it, the area, okay? Don't tell me that, tell the last fella who <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this normally, it's a, it's a place for a pool table, but in carnival, man, stay crazy with the 100 persons inside of the house, okay? And the people sleep in their mattress. It's in... gonna be 100 people, in it? Oh, yeah, people my. sleep there, man. Pay more cheaper, but sleep there, because it's crazy. Pay and this is that. your dorm. Wow. You stay here. Close off the window. Oh my god. Oh. He's in a bunk How much is it here? How much is it normally to stay here for an, a night? Four pounds point five. Have you got anything for about six quid? That's what? a little bit better. Anything for just a little bit dearer, just a little bit. Just round six or seven pounds. No man, no, we oh. don't have it. <laughs> oh. Wow. Come on. 
there's rough in it, then there's rough in it. This isn't proper rough in it. This is just scruffy bastards. That's not very clean. Yeah. No. Oh, it's all right. Just, uh, very clean yeah, but you're in this big city, right? For a popular Four parade. quid. I think it's overpriced. And people need places to stay in the city. There's yeah, no, you can just lot. camp in the bush, you know. Oh, wow, that's pretty nasty, though. I mean... Well, Ricky and Steve thought you needed to socialise with other people, so that's why I they put you. Socialising? I don't do that. I'm just not that sort of person. I'm old in my age now. You know, I've got enough friends. I've always said you only need seven mates to get you through life. That's it. That's why, you know, I've mentioned Snow White with the midgets. She had them all covered in seven. Same thing again with friends. I've just found out that the Rio Carnival's on, uh, which is the big dance thing that they do in Brazil every year. Ricky and Steve are probably aware of this, and that's why they've sent me here this time of year, you know, because they know I don't like crowds. They know I don't like parties, so to them, this is hilarious. Ricky. Oh, hey, Carl. They've sorted out a local fella called a Hickey who's going to teach me how to do the samba. He's, uh, he's going to pick me up on his motorbike. Right. Samba, yeah. You know how to do that, don't you? Not the sandbox. Oh. prepare each of you to do this big parade, okay? So first of all, we should what, do a little what, what, bit. What do you mean? We are going to parade with this big school of samba. Well, you I'm going to be doing it in front of... Thousands of people, camera and everything else. It's going to be quite a uh, performance. Like a... Okay, you there, here. Do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Front, back, cha, 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 cha. No, 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 no. That's awesome. Is there no area where you've just got a load of people who aren't very good, but you let them take part because they're it's simple or something? Just put no. me with them. I'm pushing you to the higher level. That's what you're gonna wear in this, your headdress. You're just gonna look lovely in this. No, you're just perfect. <laughs> Is everyone gonna be wearing this? Everyone's gonna be like that. I'm not ready for this, am I? I mean, this is like their World Cup final, isn't it? And you wouldn't, you wouldn't say, oh, Carl likes a game of footy, stick him in goal. They shouldn't have me anywhere near it. What do you think? Andy Pandy on crack. I mean, I'm in Rio, right? I'm meant to be seeing Christ the Redeemer. <laughs> so, what am I doing dressed up like a clown taking part in a carnival? I mean, what am I meant to get out of this? Look at this. It's not a good sign, is it? I've got shit on it and the thing's coming off. I'm sure one day I'll look back at this and go, oh, I was in the carnival. But it's just not happening now. I'm sort of thinking, I'm in the carnival now. Like, what am I doing here? <laughs> I mean, when a hickey said, you know, we were going to a samba drum, I wow. pictured something, just something better than this, really. I mean, what, what is this? We're in the middle of nowhere, just like a trading estate, isn't it? Uh, with a bit of kitchen lino on the road for people to dance down. People sat either side on the chairs. I mean, it's, it's nothing special, is it? Our, our float starts, I think, three or four floats that way. So really, I couldn't be any further back. I mean, it's, it's almost like being at the back of uh, the London Marathon. By the time I go over the end line, people are at home in bed. Yeah, I might as well be dressed as a rhino in a fun one. I feel like that. 
I mean, I'm next to like a couple of old women now. You know, I can't ask for more really. I'm right at the back. I'm with some 70 year olds. If I can't look good in this, okay, I so shouldn't be here. He's feeling safe. <laughs> Oh, look at that blister. Bloody hell. I don't know if she's in the carnival or just earning a few quid at this time of night. I've no idea. I mean, if I've got blisters on my feet, I dread to think what an arse is like. Oh, fucking hell. Such a man. Oh my god. Not me, I would never. Yes, I'm sure that's what you're. I would never look at a girl's behind. Are you going to go for a wash? Ah, forget it. Not worth it, is it? You've seen the mattress. Not worth it. You've seen the toilets. It's the equivalent of having one of those sort of Romanians that traffic lights clean your windscreen. They don't do a good job because they can't. They've got some dirty water and a dirty sponge. Same as in there. But, uh, like I say, I reckon I'll sleep anywhere tonight. Yeah, he's not going to be able to sleep. No, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I'm like, I could be some of their dads. Be like your dad going to a party that you're having and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping that they kind of think I am old, and at least when they come back up here later, they might be quiet, don't wake him up, he's old. <laughs> I'd be happier in an old people's home. Seriously. They'd all be in bed now. Sleep in this. I can't do this. Seriously, I can't do it. I'm not letting the kids sort of do this. Because well, like that isn't dream. what it's about. Because I tell you what, they wouldn't do it. No, no. Rick and Steve wouldn't be doing it. No. You know what I mean? There's no way Steve could hack it here. He goes on to his mum and dad's when he's got a cold. <laughs> you know that? Right, my dad. <laughs> oh, it's not the first time I've seen that since I've, uh, since I've been here. I don't even get the impression they're that religious here, to be honest. I suppose with uh, a lot of religious people, it's... It's about covering up, isn't it? And being quite, you know, not being sexy. Whereas here, you know, you, f you feel like you've been out with some of the women, you've seen that much of them. You know, everything's on show, isn't it? There's nothing left to the imagination here. I mean, look at him. No shame, just, just nipping out for a loaf. When I go to bed, normally wearing more than that, just in case something happens in the night, a fire alarm goes off or something, you've got to leave the house. <laughs> it's mad though, isn't it? Because I'm here in Brazil, you know, to see Christ the Redeemer, right? the wonder of the world, the reason why I'm meant to be here, and yet Rick and Steve are saying, oh, don't be worrying about that yet, we've got some other plans for you. You know, get down to the beach and meet this local fella. His name's Celso, you know, he's, he's going to show you around the place. It's you. 
It is me, yeah. He's, how are you? So, so. I'm so, so. How are so, you? So. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Sit down. No, I don't want to sit down. I, I, I just want to give you something that the first contact, we always have to wear it. Condoms. I've never had that as a gift on oh, a yeah, first sure. meeting before. Yeah, sure. A little bit forward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit forward. Sit down. Tell me what's going on. You will see in a minute. Why is there no other men in here? Why is there no other men? There's a woman well, over there looking no. at me in a funny way. Yeah, they, they, they have a woman here, but they have a lot of men that come here too. You've known me now for a, a bit. Will I be happy with this? Well, you know those guys that do surf, they wax here. Would you like to oh, try? It's a Brazilian wax. Not really. Do I seem like the sort of bloke who, who has a wax? I'm like an ape. Well, you look you look nice to have a wax. It's gonna work a lot. Yeah, but my girlfriend likes it. She likes it. Does she? Yeah, she loves it. She loves the air of it. I can get out while she gets undressed if you want. No, no. Never seen this done. Why don't you try even on your, on your arms a little bit? I feel much better without a hair. Yeah. I would try that. Well, that bit you're having done there, I wouldn't mind getting that done because sometimes I have to tuck it in my pants. They'd have a That's lot a of sign work to it's do. a bit too long, isn't it? When you have to start tucking it in. Oh no, he's gonna do it. Oh Jesus, it's hot. Oh, relax. If you don't relax, you won't enjoy it. Oh Jesus, that's no, she, bad she that. Did. That she is didn't. bad. She did, she took a bit then. No, just a little bit, just to see if it's ready. Uh, She's ah, Jesus. <laughs> is he bleeding? Uh, uh, there is a there is two other parts. If I left it, would it look stupid? Yeah. That was not good. It seems that you have something here. And she shouldn't be laughing, to be honest. Oh gee. No. <laughs> oh suck it up, Carl. So clean. Yeah, that'd be yeah. good. I can yeah. do that. Nice, really nice. I suppose it's good for me to meet different kinds of people, isn't it? You know, there's no point having mates who are all the same. Let's see some boom boom. Something for the beach. <laughs> what do you think? I I don't think this is necessary. Some boom boom. Celso is different to me other mates. He got him. He'd be like, you know, a new addition. Would you like to see some of these over there in front? To see each one fits on you? No, honestly, I don't I don't want a pair. There's no wrong with these. Do you know what I mean? That's all you need. Oh, I might. How are you doing? Your beer I don't know if I'm seeing the real Brazil, to be honest. I mean, right. I, oh. Well. <laughs> no, I just mean in terms of like, you know, what I've been up to. Tall and thin and young and handsome, the boy from me, Panima goes walking in. When he passes, each one he passes goes, oh, <laughs> here I am. How do I look? <laughs> no, well, he, he, he bought me some. Yeah, that's not. That's <laughs> madness. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand why you need that much of a tan. When I get home, I won't, I won't be saying, look at the colour of me, looking my arse out. Just the face. <laughs> oh my god. You're feeling hot, aren't you? Because well, I'm not used you're to this. My feet are killing me. How about the the thing that I bought you yesterday? Don't you feel comfortable now that it's so hot to wear it? Because I'm gonna wear mine. I'm already wearing. Well, you can see me ass, and they'd be looking at it and going, "Oh, look at the state of him." <laughs> Nobody's gonna look at you. They are. They are. <laughs> I like Brazil. I want to tell you a story cold. about this part of the beach. On the 70s, all the artists used to come here to smoke marijuana and do this kind of stuff. And then since then, this part of the beach 
become a very famous and a gay beat too. And I would like to sit down because I'm tired. So we've been walking miles, just keep going for another couple of minutes. Oh, I'm so tired. Come on. I'd like to sit down. It's, I mean, it's good seeing this, but let's keep walking. Bloody hell, we're only another <laughs> two on, minutes we'll be out of it. Come on. We can, but I would like to sit down. Don't worry about it. It's a beach like any other beach. Yeah, but it's, I honestly, do you know what I said about That's being so closed nice. in? I love this, <laughs> this weather. Yeah, I'm not enjoying oh, this it. This wind, <laughs> so delicious. No, there, there is a chair for us. Oh, I'm not not I need a chair. Me dá a cadeira, minha linda, por favor. Obrigado, sim. So, ah, delicious. Massive beach, let's sit here. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to take my take, my, sh my shirt off because it's too cold. You just adjust this a little bit. <laughs> are you, are you gay or? What do you think? It's hard to tell. Hmm? It's hard to tell. I think there's a friend of mine. Not that much to see you again. Are you going to throw a show for us today? Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, Marcelo. Marcelo. I'm nice Carl. Nice to meet you. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? Welcome to Rio. You're happy. But look, you're frying <laughs> over there. No, I'm fine. Because I've got, I've got a few. I've got protection. Fine. I've got you can't be fine. No, honestly. With all clothes in Rio de Janeiro. It's like please your ego. You have novelty value. You also whitey that. and you get pinky. It's a lovely toddler. Like really, really lovely, different from everyone else. People like the difference. So why do you have to hide your beauty? Just, I keep it for my girlfriend. A girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean the others? What others? What do you mean the rest of humanity? You just need to be looked at. This is what the beach is all about. It's not, that's why I don't come here that much. I don't like being looked at. I just thought a quiet bit, so let's go for a quiet walk. I said, let's have a look at a quiet walk. Really? Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna have some some massage and I would like you guys to join me. No, I'll watch. I don't need one. Okay. Okay. Ooh, thank you. I've seen people have a back rub. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's so awkward there. I'll tell you what, he should have had his arse done yesterday, shouldn't he? He had his back and his front done. Look at that there. <laughs> You know, and to think that earlier on, uh, you know, I was asking <laughs> whether he was gay or not. I feel a bit daft now. <laughs> you stop looking at that stuff. I mean, I don't want to moan, do you know what I mean? I know I'm quite lucky to do what I'm doing. But I thought the idea was that Ricky and Steve wanted me to broaden my mind. That's what this is all about. But being in that carnival yesterday, that, that didn't broaden my mind, did it? That just knackered my legs up. You know, I'm here to see Christ the Redeemer, the wonder of the world. Why can't I just see that and go home? But now they're calling up saying, oh, why, why don't you go and see a block party? You seem to have a party for any occasion, really. It doesn't have to be your birthday. It's just, it's a Wednesday. Let's have a, let's have a get together. So, uh, yeah, that's what a block party is. Just going along, hundreds of people. You know, I don't like being in crowds, but apparently you get quite busy. The closest thing I've probably done to this block party is when I was a kid and it was the Queen's Jubilee and like you know people turned up on a street you brought your own food everyone had a good time and went home I didn't enjoy that I remember sort of my mum being annoyed that scruffy Sandra turned up and ate a load of trifles you didn't bring anything <laughs> Holy jeez. It's basically a big queue with someone playing some music. Episodes I don't know what I'm queuing for. And I hate sort of silly weeks and stuff. I mean, maybe I'm miserable. Maybe I'm the only one here who isn't enjoying it. But if I'm not enjoying it, I shouldn't be here. I know this isn't for me. My ears just haven't stopped since they've been here. I get off the plane, they were sweating. I've never had sweaty ears. And since then, they've been overworked with constant you know, drums, singing, whistles, chanting, dogs, <laughs> helicopters, gays. One massage for your ego. Gays wouldn't normally be on that list, but the one I met here just wouldn't shut up. Great place to live if you're deaf.
that's what I'd say about Rio. Mm -hmm. Lovely and relaxing, if you're deaf. Oh, I left that in the end. Did me head in. You left it. Yeah, I it was ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that fussy in that, but it, it was minging. It was underpants hanging on the end of my bed, and they weren't even mine. <laughs> well, I've got a bit of good news for you. You've already met Celso, Hugo, and Rio. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't think we should stay. Please leave your message and we will return your call. ISL so, it's Carl. Uh, we haven't got your mobile phone number, so we've had to call your home number. Um, even though we're still sat here. But we're about to leave because it's, it's too noisy. Hope your Friday night was good. Uh, thanks for having us around. Honestly, I don't know why he invited me round. Because it's a bit weird, isn't it, that he gets me round and then he goes out. The only thing I can think of is, you know, he lives in quite a rough neighbourhood and he's thinking, oh, I'll get Carl round, you know, he can be a bit of security. That's all I can think of. Ah, uh, I just want to go to a, a quiet beach, really. Get away from it all. Because it's, uh, it's wearing me out. It's been a, a full on week, hasn't it? You know, what with the carnival and then the block party and that late night at Celso's and stuff, do you know what I mean? It, there's been nothing relaxing about it, has there? It's not holiday. I thought it was, that's why I took the job on, to be honest. But, uh, it's a good beach. The sea's a bit active, I wouldn't get in that. But yeah, other than that, it's, it's nice enough. I worry that, you know, if there's more people turning up, it's not that big. And what'll be here if it's crowded? <laughs> it's a new beach! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, you know. I can never enjoy anything, can I? Is, is, is that the plan, to never let me just have a normal, nice day? <laughs> I've always got a... <laughs> Mean. Well, it's, it's obviously some nudist beach, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not do You know, I didn't put trunks on, did I? They're not going to walk around with me cock and bollocks out. <laughs> it's not even that hot yet. He's kept his t-shirt on, but his pants, a little bit hot down there, got to whip them off. Look, bending over now for a... <laughs> oh, I've never seen anyone bend over so much as him. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> you don't want to be sitting down? I'm alright, yeah. Not bad. Okay, but here in this beach you have to remove your clothes. It's a naturism beach. What, if I want to stay here after take them off? Yeah. <laughs> These oh, are the yeah. rules. Yeah, it's the rules of this beach. Who enforces those rules? The one that's quite interesting is if um, if a male beachgoer gets a bit sort of excited, <laughs> go into the sea, it says, until it calms down. <laughs> but that's embarrassing because that means everyone knows what's happening. <laughs> if you suddenly just suddenly run into the sea and stand there looking round, I wonder if these two women here, it's their job to be on here so it doesn't happen as much. <laughs> it's like a little, you know a safety thing Just to stop it happening. I haven't seen one fella running there and, and look worried. <laughs> what are we doing? It's been going down the beach. We can't be moaning about that then. Well, I haven't finished. It was a nudist beach. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good, isn't it? You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't like it. I felt a bit uncomfortable there. And old people's stuff is, because they're doing that all the time, it was all like <laughs> leather. It's not about being nude and being free and that. They just don't like wearing pants. That's the end of it. The pant haters. I just think they like they're not about, don't they? I don't know why they don't just cut a little um, hole in a pair of trousers. Well, oh, they do, don't they? They just cut the arse out, don't they? I've seen that. Yeah, I saw that at the, uh, at the carnival. He was an arse on show. <laughs> I don't know who, who was going to watch this. What's the rating time going to say? And now on a Sky One, Carl Pilkington, an idiot who doesn't know anything, walking around looking at old men's knobs. <laughs> I mean, well. I don't know, it's not going to be a great write-up, is it? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, I mean, Sky One normally put that sort of shite out. I don't think it's, uh... That's a good advert. <laughs> but there's a, yeah, okay. So, you well, know. We've got, we've, we've, uh, we've got the trailer sorted. <laughs> oh 
I'll have to blur that out. Well, I'm going up the mountain will, today, aren't I, to see the Christ the Redeemer. YouTube will age restrict it. Which is a little bit weird it. that they've stuck it so high up on a mountain out of the way. It's almost like the locals oh, don't want people to see it. I mean, on a cloudy day, you can't. Uh, it's, it's weird. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to go up and have a look. Steve sorted out a woman to give me a lift. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at it, see if it's any good. You know, I'm here to broaden the mind. I'll give it a go. I'm not. I'm not saying it's going to be rubbish before I've, I've seen it. I think. I sort of think from a distance, Jesus, top of a hill, looking like he's a, you know about to bungee jump. You pass it, you go. There he is. Great. What else are we doing? That's enough, really, for me. Nice oh, to see you. Yeah. Nice to oh, see yeah. you too. I'm oh, Dolores now. Dolores. Yes. Dolores. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this now. The full gate of the right. city. I am the driver. You yeah, look you, like. you keep looking there. You look like. <laughs> Oops. I've just seen the back of Jesus' head. Yes, look, look at the beautiful. My beautiful man. The big fella. How many yeah, stars are there? Beautiful. Yeah, 220. 220 steps. Yeah. There he is. No oh, easy way is. to get up to it, eh? Be hard on your knee. Come here, you're gonna see it very well. I will explain you very good. You yeah. are in the top of the world, man. Come, 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 because this is the view, you know. Look what a beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's and then here. Way. Look, look here, look from here with this light behind. Seems like magic. Look at the face, which is so delicate, so clean. The weight of the statue is 1,145 tons. Wow! And it's not there to punish anybody to say, no, it's open arms, blessing the city. It is impressive, like... Yeah. Nice woman and everything. But um, it's that thing, isn't it, that she loves it so much that yeah, I'm not going to change your mind, I'm not going to come here and say, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's not that amazing, is it? It's like telling someone that the kid's ugly. It doesn't matter how ugly that kid is. They're, the mum and dad love it to bits. And I didn't want to say, but when I was looking up, I thought, the chin looks a bit big. It's like that. Yeah. It, all the rest of it is brilliant. The proportions, his arms and that, his body, but they just need to, to chip away a bit more, I reckon, <laughs> at the chin. Yeah, he's the it's a bit sort of Jimmy Illish. Say if I get back home and someone says, you've seen the uh, Christ Redeemer? I go, yeah. And then they go, what, what, what's it like? I probably just say, it's like, a, it's like a big ornament. Do you know what I mean? It's like something me, me Aunt Inora would have, sort of next to the telly. But I'd say, if you're going to come up here, it's not about that, it's about that lot. It's about coming up here and seeing all, all of you there. Knock that down. You still get a crowd coming up here. You could stick anything there. You'd stick a cafe there. And people would come up here, you can charge as much as you like, because you've got nowhere else to go, you're trapped. You're dying of thirst. Charge about four quid for a can of Coke. <laughs> the only mistake I made is, I said like, he had a chin like Jimmy Hill. And after that, people told me it's, it's not his chin, it's his beard. Yeah. But he doesn't look like a beard. Yeah. So they could have just done with chipping a bit more out, put some, make it look a bit more airy. Yeah. I was saying that there's so many sort of flying ants around there. I imagine the workers going, I've had enough of this. Does that look like a beard? Yeah, it does, Bob. Let's go. I'm not hanging around here. That ruined it a bit. I don't know why there's so many flying ants up there. Ants shouldn't have wings. I mean, when you see them walking, they're all over the place. They sort of go forwards and then come back exactly the same path and shoot off over there and come back again. If they're not good at walking, they're going to be useless with wings. I mean, if I don't like it, there's no point in me saying, oh, it's magnificent, that. Do you know what I mean? It's just, that's false, isn't it? And that's what I told Steve. And he was going, oh, Carl, you're an idiot. How can you not be blown away by, you know, the wonder of the world? Um, and I said, oh, I think it was the crowd that did me. I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy it because of all the people up there. So he sorted me out a helicopter ride to see it from above. He said, that will blow me away. So have you been in a helicopter? No, no I've never done it before. So it's just a little bit, you know, Nervous about it. It's Could just you've got no point. chance, have you? If it goes wrong, it's not like a plane that glides, it just drops. It's almost, it shouldn't be in the air, really. Should have left a message for Suzanne, really, but. Do you want it's to take freaky, it especially when no, I'll leave it. Inside, and you're looking down at your friend. She gets a load the... of money anyway, doesn't she, if it all goes wrong? Oh, yeah. You can see the ground below your friend when you're looking down. Oh, at God. Oh. There is the big Jesus. 
sneaking round the back of him. Brilliant. Love that. Whoa. I've always kind of thought people with money who buy one, you sort of go, absolute knobhead. What do you need one of them for? But it's definitely the best way to get about that. I mean, the landing's a little bit like, oh God. And I, I wasn't really enjoying seeing the, the wonder at the time, because I'm like thinking, am I going to land and all that? But it's, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Best thing, I, mean, I, I reckon I can go home now. What you're telling me you went up in a helicopter and you really liked being in a helicopter. Yeah, but that's, what, that's it, is it? That's the, that's the big finale of the program, is it? I just thought you meant, when you said about the helicopter, That's I just said I enjoyed it, that's all. Yeah, and the Jesus thing was all right as well. You enjoyed the helicopter and the Jesus thing was all right as well. That's awesome. That's awesome, that's awesome, that's awesome, yeah. Awesome and it's freaking hilarious. You're definitely gonna have to blurt out all the penis. Yeah, and, um, I apologize if I blurt it out. It's just uh, YouTube will age restrict it, and then that means half the people won't be able to watch it. Yeah, because um, if unless you have an account, like yeah. some people don't have a YouTube account, and so they wouldn't be able to watch it. But I mean, if you're underage, you shouldn't be watching. It. Well, whatever. I'm I'm just okay, saying. Like, anyways, anyways yeah, we want to make sure we can get it out to everybody. So you like being up in the helicopter? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. It was a little freaky when you turn, when sideways, you make a yeah. turn sideways and you're looking down at your friend, like I said, and you can see the ground below. But other than that, it's it's the best way to get around in a short area. Right. You know, you can see more, like, whatever. I enjoyed oh. it. I, I've never been in a helicopter, but I've had reoccurring dreams of being in a helicopter. Well, there you go. You know, and you can, you can smell the air and you can feel the heat and stuff. I don't know, it's like a weird dream that I have. Must have been like an army guy who died or something in a past life. <laughs> Maybe I was in Vietnam. <laughs> I had a dream I was on the moon once. It was just the same experience. It's because I sent you there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. Yes, that was. I good. have to say, it's uh, he never fails to surprise me. Just the way he looks at things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't like crowds either. Like I wouldn't enjoy the crowds. No, I'm not a big crowd person. And, you know. I'm definitely not the kind of person who would go to a nude, a nude beach. And stuff, no, so. no, I don't feel comfortable in a nude beach either. No, it's ah, a... come on, let's let it hang out. <laughs> when in Rome, or when in Brazil, <laughs> they'd like our pasty white Yeah, clothes, I just, so. I, I don't know, I just not. We could sunbathe for a week just to be white. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I can understand that. I'm just, I'm not that liberal. You know? <laughs> No need to show my junk to everybody. And I and I don't have the body for it either. I mean, at least if I, I would do it if I have the body. Then I wouldn't be as self-conscious. But well, I'd be more like trying to suck in my gut all the time and not get up too much. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Anyhow, yeah. So yes. that was funny. Okay, that thanks. was really funny. Okay. That was so good. Yeah. Sorry that took us a while to get into that. We'll get another one going quicker here. We're juggling so many things, you know? That's my story. I'm sticking to it. That's his clown impersonation. All right, we'll see you next time on the Brad and Lucy Show. Bye. Oh, son of a bitty bit, son of a bitty bit, son of a bitty bit, a gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs>